So in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about adjacency lists. So adjacency lists is simply a list of the nodes indicating what the children of those nodes are. For instance, if we have node G, we have a list of two uh, additional nodes, which are children of G. So basically, you will need a data structure that's going to hold the nodes, the node value, and then it holds a list of items indicating the children, the direct children, not the grandchildren of those nodes. So in case of G, we are going to have, for instance, we are going to have C and I. Why this adjacency list is important is because it also applies to non-binary trees and even graphs as well. So if you have more than three children here, uh, let's say Z, you also will have a child Z right here. So let's see how to represent this adjacency list. So the first one I just showed you just now, let's just see how it is. And in case of uh, using Python, you are going to use a dictionary to represent it. So in this case, we have a dictionary with a key and the key is going to be the value of the node and the list or the values for that key is going to be the children. So let's kind of build the adjacency list for this matrix, for this uh, tree. And then we now also try to build an adjacency matrix. Now the two are the same, but simply represented a bit differently. So let's start building this adjacency list. So let's say, take for instance, we have G, we have C, I, okay? And we are going to have C, we have B, E, right? And have B, and we have A. So I'm going to just build it and then I'll speed up the video. So let's say A. So basically, this is the adjacency list for this particular tree. Now the adjacency matrix is similar to this, so I'm going to simply kind of uh, show you how it is. So you're going to write all the rows, all the nodes as a column, and then do the same thing for the rows as a row, and then see where they intersect. So let's, let me just do it instead of explaining it. So we have A, B, C, K, and you're going to do the same thing this way, A, B. So I, I guess you understand it. So we are going to check A against A. So in this case, we have A against A, which is the same. So here we are going to put a dash. And we are going to check if A is reachable from B. So we're going to check A is reachable from B. Yes, we're going to put one. Is A reachable from C or is A connected to C? So that is here, we're going to put zero. No, because we are checking direct connection. Is A connected to D? We are going to put zero and so on until you build up all this uh, list completely. So you're going to continually check which node is connected to which node. So if you are coming from B, B to B, you put a dash, B connected to A is going to be one, right? And so on. So in this case, you have a tabular form of the same list here, but in this case, it's called an adjacency matrix. So I hope you understand how this algorithm works. And in the next part, let's now write the code to generate the adjacency list in Python.